The Federal Indigenous Affairs Minister has labelled remote Northern Territory housing as in crisis after he visited a two-bedroom home filled with 26 people, including 15 children. After Senator Nigel Scullion raised the alarm, a local housing group offered the extended family a four-bedroom home. But the NT government remains silent on the overcrowding crisis as Sky News Indigenous Affairs reporter Dan Borsha filed this exclusive report. Overcrowding is at critical levels for one Borolula family. And all up it's 26 people in a two bedroom home and we only got one toilet and one shower and a small laundry and then we got a only small dining area and a small kitchen to um, cook up a meal for 26 people. Penelope says they're mostly extended family who she can't turn away. Yeah, it's really hard living in. The Northern Territory's housing crisis in remote Indigenous communities is clearly seen here in this town camp on the outskirts of Borroloola. The remains a crisis. This sort of overcrowding isn't isolated. I cannot imagine sharing a house with 25 other people, a two-bedroom home with 25 other people, uh, with a bang on caravan and a bit of tin and somehow maintaining some sort of sanity. But they do that. They do that. This has to change. Minister Scullion says it's time all governments, including his own, take responsibility for this crisis. It's the system. It's our problem. It's our fault. doesn't matter what it is. We provide these houses. The Commonwealth build them. Northern Territory manage them. But we are all jointly responsible. So this, something has to happen about this. But the Territory Government is yet to respond to detailed questions on the matter. After Minister Scullion intervened, a local housing authority promised to resolve the matter. Dan Borsha, Sky News, Borroloola.